Next we're going to talk more about the connection between functions and events. Events are things that users use to interact with a web page. When a user clicks on something, that click is an event. When the user submits a form, that is an event. When the user types a URL in the address bar and hits enter, the browser finishes loading the page, that is an event. All of these events can be used in our code as triggers to make things happen. So this is our uh, web page here. We have a link to a script file, functions2.js. Here it is. Inside that page, we have a window on load equals init. That's our function that's going to run when the page finishes loading. And here is the function itself. There's nothing inside there, just an empty function that's going to run when the page finishes loading. Inside the page, we have four paragraphs. The IDs of these paragraphs are the words one, two, three, four. So we can use document get element by ID to access any of these. So what I want to do is I want to set this up so that the person can click on any one of these paragraphs to set a background color, but they have to do it in a specific order. So I'm going to say they have to click on number one first, and then number three, and then number two, and then number four. So one, three, two, four. That's going to be the order that they have to click the paragraphs in, in order to activate the, fun the functions. We're going to put an on-click event handler on each one of these four paragraphs, but we have to do it in a specific order, so that the user has to do it in a specific order. All right, so let's look at our script. The onload event calls this function. Now, at this point in time, everything's loaded so we can access everything, but we want to access that first paragraph for anything else. So let's get that p1 equals document get element by id 1. All right, now p1 on click, oops, on click equals func1. All right, that means when the person clicks on the thing with the id1, which is our first paragraph, when they click on it, the function called func1 is going to run. So this will run when the user clicks on the first paragraph. So, I could do the same thing here. I can write this exact same code like this. Create the variable again, p1. It's the exact same thing. And then I'm going to say that p1.style.backgroundcolor equals... I'll go with goldenrod again. There we go. Alright, so that's my first paragraph. Step 1, page loads. This function gets called. That's step 2. We find this first thing, add a click handler to it. So at this point in time, the only thing with a click handler is that first paragraph. It's going to call this second function here, func1. It will find the same thing, set the background color. Okay, so let's just test that. Let's take a look at that. So I reload this page. There we are. So page finished loading. That means the init function ran, and it added a click handler to the first paragraph. So I click on that. There we go. We changed the background color to goldenrod. Let's reload this again. If I click on here, nothing happens. Here, nothing happens. Here, nothing happens. This one, that does something. All right, so we want to do one, three, two, four. We want to add the click handlers in that order. All right, func1. This is the one that runs when the person has clicked the first one. So after they've clicked that first one, and the first one has turned to goldenrod as a background color, it's at that point in time I want number three to be able to be clicked. 
var. I'm gonna just call it key three. Document get element by ID three. And P3 is gonna get an on click handler. And it's gonna call I'll call it func3. We'll make a connection between the function names and the object names. code again. Now you'll see there's a lot of duplication in my code. There is actually ways that we can tidy this up, make it a lot more condensed, but we'll get to that point a little bit later. So p3 style dot background color equals I'll call this one red. There we go. Alright, so page loads number one gets the click event. When they click it, this runs. At that point, it becomes goldenrod. P3 gets the click event. So after I've clicked on number one, then I can cl click on number three. Number three will then change color to red. Right, let's reload our page. Click on four, nothing happens. Click on number three, nothing's happening. Two, nothing's happening. One. Ah, something happened now. So I got the golden rod on number one. Still nothing two. Still nothing four. But I click on three. I get the red. Now, after I've clicked on three and it's turned color, now is when I'm going to add the event handler to number two. So, same sort of idea. I'm just going to copy this line of code again and modify it. P2 get element by ID 2 and number 2 is going to get the on click handler to call func2 so function func2 inside here we need to get the reference to number 2 again Equals. Uh, let's go with green, shall we? There we go. We'll test that again. Which is reloaded. Four nothing. Three nothing. Two nothing. One. There we go. Now I've activated number three. Two and four still do nothing. Number three works. Now number two should work. Four still does nothing but two does work. Now is when we add the handling for number four. So uh, p4 documents get element by ID four p4 dot on click equals func four and function func four it's going to have this same line in it where we're going to change its background color p4.style.background color equals we'll do a light gray there we go just to, just to throw a hex code in there to show that we can alright, jump to the web page, refresh Nothing four, nothing three, nothing two. Number one works. Two, four still don't. Number three will. Then number two. Then number four. And that's how you make events happen in a particular order. By just making sure that you attach the events to the objects to call the function at the right time. As long as you do this in the correct sequence, you can get any results you want. And it doesn't just work with clicks. You can use any function, or any event rather, that you want. On mouse over, on mouse out, on focus, on blur, on load, on click, any one of those.